In this demo, you'll see how the ZPA API helps you create automated workflows for application segmentation and access policy assignments. Let's start by creating the application segment. As seen in the ZPA dashboard, there's currently only one application segment. To create another, first click on the API keys under the Public API section and click on the API portal. Log in with the client credentials to access the Public API portal. Credentials are generated by clicking on Add API Key. After logging in, you'll see multiple API controller resources for applications, servers, application groups, and policies. Each controller has multiple APIs. To create an application segment, go to Application Controller, and then go to the Add New Application Segment API. Here, you'll need to pass the application segment payload, which I've already captured using the API guide. Next, let's copy and paste the payload here. Remember, name, TCP port ranges, domain names, segment group ID, and server groups are mandatory fields. To get the segment group, click on the Segment Group Controller, and then go to the Get All Configured Segment Groups API. Add the customer ID, which can be found in the API Keys page under the Admin tab to get the application segment details for this particular customer. Now, let's execute. This returns all the application segments that are present for this customer. As noted before, this customer only has one application segment. Next, copy the ID and paste in the segment group under Application Controller. Similarly, to get to the Server Group ID, go to the Server Group Controller and select the Get All Configured Server Groups API and add the customer ID to get all the server groups specific to that customer. Continuing, let's call this new application segment Test Application, add the customer ID, and click Execute. This returns a 201 code, meaning the resource has been created successfully and includes the details of the application segment. Now, to confirm, I'm going back to the UI and you can see the new application segment is created. You can also click on Edit to confirm all the parameters have been passed correctly. Now, let's create a policy that will incorporate this application segment into the policy criteria. As you can see in this example, we currently have only one access policy right now. First, click on Policy Set Controller and add a new policy rule. Here, we'll need three things. The first is the customer ID for whom we're creating this policy. Remember, this can be copied from the admin page as done earlier. Next, we'll need the policy set ID to determine the type of policy we want to create. For this, click on Get the Global Policy, paste the customer ID, and click on Execute. This will return all the existing access policies along with their details. You can copy the relevant policy ID from here and add the Access Policy API. Lastly, set the rule. For this, you can refer to the API guide and copy the payload. You will need to add the application segment we just created, and that is identified by the application segment ID. Click on Execute. The response is 201, indicating a successfully created access policy. Let's go back to the UI to confirm. As you can see, the test access policy has been added, and you can review the application segment added in the criteria by clicking on the policy. So, there you have it. If you're ready to use ZPA APIs to automate secure access to private applications, request a demo today.